This is one of the more underrated tornadoes in this outbreak, the Coleman Fairview Arab EF4 tornado, which did severe damage to those areas. And we're going to talk about it. This storm had formed right around Tuscaloosa at 1.45 p.m. And James Spann had come on the TV at 2 p.m. just after a soap opera. And then literally about five minutes later, this storm had been tornado warned and exhibited some rotation near between Barry and uh, Jasper. And started to spin. This is about the time where I believe the tornado was starting to form and might have touched down right around Manchester. And here is the ground truth to what that radar image was showing with the funnel cloud and the wall cloud and possible tornado forming. The tornado was on the ground at this point causing da EF2 damage even though you cannot see the tornado, the tornado is there. At this point, the tornado's condensation funnel had finally hit, touched the ground and was causing EF3 damage at this point and causing a lot of problems. The tornado, as it was moving into Coleman, had strengthened to an EF4 tornado was showing signs of being a multi-vortex tornado and was fairly small for an EF4, but it caused major, major damage to Coleman. Furthermore, it was not a very big tornado at this point, but it, it leveled many buildings and destroyed a lot of stuff. Very much in the EF4 range, 170 miles an hour. Yeah, small but powerful. As this tornado was moving out of Coleman, it started to wedge out. And as it moved into Fairview, caused EF4 damage, leveling many homes. This was possibly stronger there, even though the indications were that it wasn't, even though... The damage shows that it was, and it moved up into Arab, where I think it was closer to an upper end EF4, but the surveyor said no on that, and a little bit later, this storm would rope out, and finally, the tornado would dissipate. The damage shown here shows me this was closer to an upper end EF4, which it was, it was not considered for some reason, but it was a nasty tornado. It destroyed many homes just like this, and it killed several people, and it's a sad thing to see anyone die in a tornado, so... Well, we're talking about it. This tornado did not come out of nowhere, though. It was the first tornado in Alabama that day. And it was explaining this is going to be very hard, but it had no impediments. It was going to... It, and this is what happened. And it wasn't the strongest tornado of the day. By far it wasn't. But it, like I said, killed a lot. It killed several people. And let's hope if this does happen again that nobody dies. But with storms like this, People are going to die, and unfortunately, that's just part of nature being nature. Thank you for watching the video.